there guys, welcome to New York and welcome to the biggest FIFA update we've maybe seen so far in FIFA history. This is a game changing update like never seen before. So let's get right into it. So as you can see on your screen right now guys is the screenshot of the first major aspect of the update. As you can see the latest title update for FIFA 18 is now available. This update includes the following changes. So they have made the following changes in gameplay after kickoff. The defending team will be more compact in defense. Their attacking players will be less aggressive in pushing up the field. Their defensive players will close the space between them and, the, and their attacking players to reduce the gap and limit the attacking team's space. So essentially guys, the kickoff glitch has been removed in FIFA. We're gonna be probably seeing this console, up. I think PC updates always first, it's like two weeks before, maybe a week before. Um, I wouldn't be surprised though if this update comes out a bit sooner than usual as most players are obviously on console. However, this is huge. This is a massive, massive update. We, guys, think about it. Right, I've played about, what, 500 games this year, which is not that many actually for me in Ultimate Team so far. I have scored so many kickoff goals. We all have. Every time you kick, you, you, every time you kick off right now, you have a massive chance of scoring and it's not right. And it's, it's about time they um, finally change and it's a good thing anything that can help improve the game is clearly good yes i do think yeah you can be quick with this kind of thing yes i think they should do it more often but still i think they'll get there hopefully they will anyway guys kickoff glitch has been patched also they've addressed the following issues in gameplay goalkeepers unnecessarily clearing the ball when it was passed to them in certain situations that one's been uh, that one's gonna be patched guys as well it's kind of a great feeling that the kick kickoff glitch it has been patched now we can actually just i guess yeah we don't need to trust that every we can trust our defense more now is what i'm trying to say like kickoff glitch has been so frustrating for all of us playing for champion for me i'm going to play fifa more now for champs maybe because of this this patch it's it's hopefully going to fix it anyway there is a lot more in the update so next up we do have this, so they've addressed the following issues in gameplay. Goalkeepers are necessarily claim the ball. We just said that one before. Um, anyway, they've made the following changes in FIFA Ultimate Team. Another huge one here. The following changes have been made for all foot champions weekend league matches. All matches will now take place in the FEWC Stadium. With the time of day always set to night and weather always set to clear. I, I mean, that's an interesting one right there. Um, the pre-match screens will no longer display which team is the home team or away team. Instead, players will always see their team on the left side of the screen with their opponent's team displaying on the right side. So as you guys may have seen, a lot of players, a lot of players in the world, actually a lot of pro players as well, everyone's done it. We tend to cherry pick opponents and it's not right at all. Like, I I've done it a few times in terms of the fact that when I see like a PSG away kit, I'm like, you know what, screw it. I can't be bothered playing that guy. He's probably good. Um, but for me, it's not right. Like, if you go into a game of COD, you can't just choose who you kind of go, you're going to play, right? It's, you, you should play whoever you put up against. So it's good that EA have acknowledged this and it's going to be fixed hopefully soon. And also, um, yeah, you'll no longer see your opponent's kits in either gameplay or the pre-match screens. Instead, you will see, uh, where are we there? You will see home kit. Um, you'll see your opponent play the match in your away kit. Okay, that's interesting. The kit selection and match preview screens have been updated as a result of this change, which I think is good. The orbit camera can now be used when watching Foot Champions channel replays. That's actually really good. I, I wanted to, I've, I've wanted that for a while. They've addressed the following issues in FIFA Ultimate Team. The player fitness and squad fitness search filters on the Foot Transfer Market not returning the correct items, so that's been fixed, thank God. It has been now we can just search for squad items probably gonna be able to snipe some with that as well uh, the player contract and manager contract search filters on the foot transfer market not returning the correct item so again that's been fixed the specialities displayed for some informed players in the team management screens of a foot online match were incorrect so guys they fixed that as well and then the fi final one is this one this was a visual issue only with no impact on gameplay They've made the following changes on online modes, updated the colors used for the connection quality bars uh, in all online modes, including foot, five, four, and three bars are green. Two bars is yellow, one bar is red. Um, I mean, if I were EA, I mean, I would just give like five green and then maybe, well, I'm not sure if they do, I think they, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, 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 it's a weird thing saying this. It's the same shade of green, I'm pretty sure. I would change the colors maybe. Maybe just make five green, four like, I don't know, different color, and same for three. But anyway, that, that, that's, that's okay. And then finally, they've addressed the following issues in online mode. A player's pro club's virtual pro having incorrect attributes if it was if it was created when the player is not connected to the service. A big thing, by the way, about pro clubs, I think still needs patching. And I've, I've played with pro clubs a bit this year, and I think it was an issue. When, when the opponent, uh, when your opposing team backs out, you don't get the stats, you don't get the attributes. I'm pretty sure that is still an issue, I think. Can, guys, if you can help me with that one, as right now I'm not got access to an Xbox, do let me know. Uh, last year, that was a major issue. When someone backed out, you wouldn't get the stats from the game. That's really annoying. Like, if I score a hat-trick, then the opposing team backed out, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay with my play, if that makes sense. But yeah, overall, there is the massive new update, guys. Hope you're enjoying this temporary, um, yeah, this temporary um, backdrop. It's a really cool apartment, it's huge, it's really big. Um, anyway, really um, fun time in New York so far. I watched the game last night in Carragher's Bar in New York, and yeah, just annoying as hell to lose to Swansea. Uh, they parked the bus, but to be fair, they're allowed to. No issue with it. We've got to do a better job of um, getting through their getting through their kind of events more. Uh, anyway, other than that, it's been amazing. It was uh, good for anyway seeing that. But yeah, FIFA update kickoff glitch, guys, has been patched. It will be on console soon, and then there will be more updates to come. Hopefully, I was wondering where that where where is this new update, and it finally happened today. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like for more. Subscribe, and I'll see you later.